Savitar. Savitar. <laughs> so they are actually performing here at Sunshine Studios Live. And can you guys talk a little bit more about the band for people that don't know who you are? Cool. Okay, we're all original. A, uh, B, originally from Seattle, but we relocated, reformatted. Uh, the band started in 1983, yeah. and now we're what we are now, which is fantastic. All original. Um, I joined. Gosh, I think I'm going on 12 years now that we've been in the band. Um, my first band I've ever been in. First songs I ever wrote were with this band. So we just got our first CD done. Um, we have that on sale on our website. We have lots of different merchandise, lots of different shows. Awesome. And then Terrell here actually has been their photographer for many years. Terrell, how have you enjoyed shooting them? Oh, they're a riot. A lot of, they're a lot of fun to shoot. They're very animated on stage. I've got to shoot them in a variety of places like the backyard, uh, an apartment complex, <laughs> various venues, your house. house. Yep. Yeah, no, it's a lot of fun. They're a lot of fun. And so tell us a little bit more about the new music you guys just released. Well, when we write, we write, we remember the 80s, especially me, I'm the oldest, but I like to write for what we think is old and new. So this is kind of how we write. Uh, a guitar player, myself, we usually get together. Uh, we have kind of ideas. We know how our singer wants things, since she's the head cheese. <laughs> and we kind of write to her, and then we let her take it from there. She writes all the lyrics, very fantastic, knows the right way to do it, and how to get to the right customers, because we're trying to you know, get to everybody, not just a limited edition. Right. And what has been the most challenging part about being a local band? Do you guys see it hard to promote, or even venues as well? Um, you know, it, it just kind of depends on um, the season, the time of year, especially in Colorado. You know, winter is a little more difficult to get people out to shows sometimes. Um, I actually love being, you know, I when we're playing in the local areas because I know a lot of the people here that come to all of the shows so it's really nice seeing faces you you know recognize people you talk to that right. type of thing and actually you used to be a venue promoter or still are how do you bring people in to get on shows even during the weekdays or even promote to get bigger crowds well a big part of course is social media which we all know nowadays it's not like putting a flyer on the telephone pole or yeah. going to a local venue and getting your friends out of the band it, it takes a lot of work. Yeah. It's definitely Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, over and over and over. Some people will post one time, and you look at Facebook, it scrolls. So they post it one time. We post hundreds. We have friends worldwide. We have road crew, uh, best friends, photographers that also help promote for us. So it's, it's just a share, you know, share. Because maybe you're driving, you didn't see it. And now you got home and he posted, now you see it. Okay. And people don't not quite understand that, but it, it works. Social media is great. I like the hand it out flyers. I think venues to get back into. As you leave a venue, have somebody stand there and give out a next month concert like we did in Seattle. And then they go, oh wow, I used to make a magazine almost the size of a poster, put it on the wall. And then people go, oh, I know all the shows for the whole month. They start buying their tickets. And then they find out about the local bands who's doing a CD release or something. Right. And so with having that, are you guys looking forward to touring? Do you have any projects in the works or are you just staying local? I refuse to stay local. We've, we've kind of, uh, you know, tossed some ideas around, have some feelers out, that kind of thing. Yeah. Um, just to start kind of popping a few different states around here. We're looking, well, we're trying to do, we work like anybody else. The market's rough. We know it. Everybody's going through it worldwide. So we're looking at like going to Texas. My son lives down there. He's looking at venues. We love Vegas. We love to play at Fremont. We think we fit. We would love to Arizona. Yeah. We have a lot of friends. And of course, me being from Washington. Um, I've Seattle's promoter over 20 years. I know every band. Yeah. So I know we would sell out just because they're good people. Right. Flat exactly. out. Flat out. They're good people. And what is the favorite, your favorite part about performing live, especially to a lot of the friends in the crowd? You know, honestly, my favorite part is... So the songs I write are very personal, yeah. and my lyrics can be a little emotional. I like knowing that different people connect with certain parts of the songs, yeah. and because they'll come up and talk to me afterwards, and to me, that's like the best part of this. Right. So. Yeah, it's that genuine connection with yes. your fans. Right. What about your favorite? I know it's some 
work. I love to sit with the kids and watch the families and I teach little kids how to spin bone sticks. Oh, yeah. And they sit there and I say, now you go home, you come back next show and show me. But watching the mom and dad, watching their kids trying to do that, um, it becomes not an ego, it becomes personal. Right. And you know, we're almost... having fun and signing a shirt or giving out a sticker or bringing you in, bringing him in, which is one of the greatest men I've worked with. There's, that's what's important to me. Right. Bringing people, creating something versus, it's all about me. It's not. Exactly. We would have a new name for the band if it was about me. <laughs> we love Savitar. It's a dragon. That's all it is. Yeah, it's so a name. simple. And we've held it for 40 years now. Yeah. And with that being said, with the new members and even kind of a new generation, do you see your band evolving even more, stepping into a new chapter almost, with the evolving of social media and kind of a new, fresh look? You know, I really think, I, I mean, all music evolves in some way, shape, and form. A lot of it just depends on, you know, who's in the band, how a certain music is hitting us when we're writing it. Um, as far as getting it out there, there's a lot of different ways now that there did not used to be. So, like uh, yes. Didn't so, use to have this. I was no, gonna say no, there, no. there's a lot more options now for bands that you know may not want to sign contracts with different places and do things along those lines and just self-promote themselves. We're very independent. Yeah. Especially me being around the business all my life, I would rather say, hey, I would rather work with great people and maybe the lower end of the totem pole right. because they'll work than the business suit sitting there that wants to just get my money. Right. Right into that. I mean, I've always been a, the best photographer, one of my favorite singers in my band ever Aww. in my life, and done with the right people, like the venue doing this for us, the venue like here at Sunshine Studios, letting us have a place to do this. Right, you know, exactly. there could be 40 people or 800 people or whatever, it doesn't matter, it's being there. Yeah. You know, better be at home and be in a band practice. Exactly. You know? And so with that being said, you guys have both been in the industry for a long time. What advice would you give to other spying local artists trying to make it in this industry? For me, it, it would just be to find your right fit. Yeah. You know, I, I started in different styles of music, and this is the first time when I joined the band I ever sang rock or metal. And uh, um, it fits. So I, I was going to say find your right fit. Find the message you're wanting to get out and find the people that will help you do that. And Terrell, you've watched this band grow over years. How has it been watching them all evolve? Oh, it's fun. It's a great deal. But one thing I want to tell about these guys, and especially Brad, is new bands out there, you're trying to make it up, promote yourself. Promote, promote, promote. That's what he is, that's what he pounds out, and it's, it works. Yeah. And as you notice, he compliments me. Uh, checks in the mail, uh, <laughs> but that that's just it. You know, like you mentioned, it's a team. You work together. And that's what it's really about. It's about looking at what people do and maybe helping them. You know, they might think, oh, it's, da, da, da. Like, it's not true. I come from the industry and, you know, being from Seattle, Hawaii to here, I've watched so many great bands. It doesn't matter who they are, you know, but I've watched the, the ones that couldn't get there. Yeah. And I went, wow, well, if you would have listened to any of us, or you watch this lady on stage, we don't, we move, we don't stand still, we do something, we change different outfits, we get the right people, the right merch, you know, find out what people want and don't want. Right, it's not exactly. about us at all. Right. And would you, what is any final words or what would you want someone to know about your band that maybe hasn't listened to you yet or hasn't been to the show? Oh, well, come on out. <laughs> I, I mean, seriously. Um, it's going to be like you hear about every band, whatever you see on the videos, on YouTube, social media. It's nothing like going to the live show. Support all of your local bands. Support the local venues. Um, times have been tough for, for local venues. And, and once they're gone, your access to live music is going to be gone. Right. You know, um, you really got to support to, you know, go watch a show. I agree. Come out to the show. I agree. It's, it's getting out there. You can stay home, watch TV, complain, do whatever you do, or go out. Meet real people. Meet somebody to come and shake your hand or hand them a sticker or, you know, there's just something more about getting out. Are we waiting for new music from you guys? Um, 
We are we have, always working on something. Yes. Um, we have we, we've kind of got about CD. five songs kind of just in the background, but we, we've written over 30 songs. Awesome. We have about yeah. 30. We have almost um, four CDs ready to go. Yeah. We just got, as you know, our new sound engineer and our new studio engineer, Charles, which works at Sunshine, which is God. <laughs> uh, we released our CD. We're very happy with it. Awesome. So now it becomes getting the new guitar player the ready to go, steps. Todd, uh, now in sound guitar, getting the next CD, where are we ready? We're starting to record. Right. We move to the next CD, to the next. We, we have a big, like a grease board, I guess you call it in the old yeah. days. We have our CDs already wrote out and ready to go. Perfect. We're ready, but you know, we're trying to still- Excited to hear new music thank from you, you guys. I'm excited thank to you. hear you perform tonight. Well, thank you guys for watching and make sure to check out Sabotar on Facebook, Instagram, all that good stuff, YouTube. Thank you guys so much for this interview. Thank you. Yeah, of course. Stay tuned for next time.